The Campbell Soup Company, also known as Just Campbell's, is an American producer of canned soups and related products that are sold in 120 countries around the world. It is headquartered in Camden, New Jersey. Campbell's divides itself into three divisions, the Simple Meals division, which consists largely of soups that are either condensed or ready to serve, the Baked Snacks division, which includes Pepperidge Farm, and the Health Beverage division, which includes V8 juices. Topic history The company was started in 1869 by Joseph A. Campbell, a fruit merchant from Bridgeton, New Jersey, and Abraham Anderson, an icebox manufacturer from South Jersey. They produced canned tomatoes, vegetables, jellies, soups, condiments, and minced meats. In 1876, Anderson left the partnership and the company became the Joseph A. Campbell Preserve Company. Campbell reorganized into Joseph Campbell & Co. in 1896. In 1897, John T. Dorrance, a nephew of the general manager Arthur Dorrance, began working for the company at a wage of $7.50 a week. Dorrance, a chemist with degrees from MIT and Göttingen University, Germany, developed a commercially viable method for condensing soup by having the quantity of its heaviest ingredient, water. He went on to become president of the company from 1914 to 1930, eventually buying out the Campbell family. In 1898, Herbert and Williams, a Campbell's executive, convinced the company to adopt a carnelian red and bright white color scheme, because he was taken by the crisp carnelian red color of the Cornell University football team's uniforms. To this day, the layout of the can, with its red and white design and the metallic bronze metal seal from the 1900 Paris exhibition, has changed very little, with the exception of the French phrase on the top of the bronze seal that said Exposition Universelle Internationale, which was changed to the English name of the exhibition as Paris International Exposition. Campbell Soup became one of the largest food companies in the world under the leadership of William Beverly Murphy. He was elected executive vice president of Campbell Soup in 1949 and was president and CEO from 1953 to 1972. While at Campbell's Soup Company, he took the corporation public and increased its brand portfolio to include Pepperidge Farms breads, cookies, and crackers, Franco-Americans gravies and pastas, V8 vegetable juices, Swanson broths, and Godiva's chocolates. David Johnson was president and CEO from 1990 until 1997. Campbell Soup invested heavily in advertising since its inception, and many of its promotional campaigns have proven value in the Americana collectible advertising market. Perhaps best known are the Campbell Kids designed by illustrator Grace Drayton. Ronald Reagan was a spokesman for V8 when Campbell's acquired the brand in 1948. In addition to collectible advertising, the company has also had notable commercial sponsorships. Among these was Orson Welles's The Campbell Playhouse, which had previously been the Mercury Theatre on the air. After the program's adaptation of The War of the Worlds became a sensation for accidentally starting a mass panic due to its realism, Campbell's took over as sponsor of the Radio Theatre program in December 1938. In the UK and Ireland, Campbell Soup was rebranded as Bachelor's Condensed Soup UK and Aaron Ireland in March 2008, when the licence to use the brand name expired. Premier Foods, St Albans, Hertfordshire bought the Campbell Soup Company in the UK and Ireland, for £450 million, $830 million in 2006, but was licensed to use the brand only until 2008. Under this agreement, the US-based Campbell Soup Company continued to produce Campbell's condensed soup but could not sell the product in the UK for a further five years. Campbell's continues to be a major part of Camden, New Jersey, regularly participating in charity events in the community. In 2009, Campbell's completed the building of a new and expanded headquarters in the city. In January 2010, Campbell's Canadian subsidiary began selling a line of soups that are certified by the Islamic Society of North America as being halal prepared in accordance with Islamic law. Although Campbell does not have any plans to sell its halal soups in the United States, the move has drawn criticism from anti-Muslim critics in the United States. Blogger Pamela Geller called for a boycott of the company. In July 2011, Campbell's Soup decided to once again sell its product in the UK after being absent since 2008. Symington's began manufacturing the brand under license by Symington's. The new lineup comprised 12 cup soups, five simmer soups designed to be cooked in a pot of water, four savory rice lines, and four savory pasta and sauce packets. The new range will not be sold in cans, but instead sold in packets and boxes. 
Later in 2011, the canned varieties have also returned to supermarket shelves with refreshed labels and new lines. In 2012, Campbell announced plans to buy Bolthouse Farms, a maker of juices, salad dressings, and baby carrots, for $1.55 billion. Analysts saw this as an attempt to reach younger, more affluent consumers. From 2012, Campbell Soup has been focused on updating their image and digital marketing to increase visibility among younger generations. They hired Umang Shah to lead global social and digital marketing. He led record social engagement campaigns including hashtag Declare Recess and hash In June 2013, Campbell acquired the Danish multinational baked goods company Kelsen Group for an undisclosed amount. Kelsen has an 85-country distribution network and is seen as providing Campbell with opportunities for international expansion, particularly into China and other Asian markets. In June 2015, Campbell Soup acquired salsa maker Garden Fresh Gourmet for a sum of $231 million as it looked to expand into the fresh and organic packaged foods business. In December 2017, Campbell's completed the acquisition of Pacific Foods of Oregon, LLC for $700 million and announced the agreement to acquire the snack company Snyder's Lance for $4.87 billion in cash. The latter deal is the largest in the company's history. The company announced in January 2018 that their only Canadian factory in Toronto would close. Production would shift to three existing facilities within the U.S. It was reported that the expected loss of jobs, as a result of the closing, would be 380. Denise Morrison served as the company's president and CEO from 2011 through 2018. Pop art In 1962, artist Andy Warhol took the familiar look of the Campbell's soup can and integrated it into a series of pop art silkscreens, a theme he would return to off and on through the 1960s and 1970s. The first batch in 1962 were a series of 32 canvases. At first, the cans were accurate representations of actual Campbell's cans, but as his series progressed, they became more surrealistic, with Warhol experimenting with negative reversed color schemes and other varied techniques many of these which would be used on other Warhol paintings of the period, such as his celebrity silkscreens of the 1960s. The silkscreens themselves have become iconic pieces of pop art, with one in particular, small torn Campbell soup can Pepper Pot 1962, commanding a price of $11.8 million at auction in 2006. In 2004, Campbell's themselves recognized Warhol's art by releasing in the eastern United States a limited edition series of cans that were inspired by the coloring and silkscreen effects of Warhol's pieces. This marked one of the few times in the company's history that they would change the trade dress for their main canned soup line in any substantial manner. In 2012, the Warhol-inspired cans returned to shelves, in an exclusive retail partnership with Target. <laughs> <laughs> Slogans Am Am Good 1935 present, their predominantly used slogan, Give me the Campbell Life 1969 to 75. Soup is good food 1975C. 1982. Never underestimate the power of soup 1990s. Possibilities 2005 to 2009. So many many reasons it's so am am good 2008 to 2010. It's amazing what soup can do 2010 present. Made for real real life 2015 present. Topic. Health controversies Many canned soups, including Campbell's condensed and chunky varieties, contain relatively high quantities of sodium and thus are not desirable for those on low-sodium diets. However, Campbell's Chunky, Healthy Request and other soups, as well as their V8 and tomato juices, are claimed by Campbell's to contain reduced sodium levels. In fall 2007, Campbell's was awarded a Certificate of Excellence, for their efforts in lowering sodium levels, from Blood Pressure Canada. By autumn 2009, Campbell's claimed it had lowered the sodium content in 50% of its soups range. In March 2010, this claim was challenged. 
ABC News reported that the low sodium variety of Campbell soup in fact contains the same amount of sodium as the regular variety, and that Campbell's Healthy Request soup contains more fat than the regular variety. In December 2009, Consumer Reports found that major canned food companies, including Campbell's Soup, had tinned products which had bisphenol A (BPA) levels over 100 ppb in some cases. The testing revealed that just one serving of canned food would exceed an expert's recommendation for daily exposure. 0.2 micrograms per kilogram body weight per day, in July 2011, citing sinking sales, and a combination of consumer views and choices, and having found no connection between sodium consumption and negative health outcomes. They increased the salt contents again. GMO <laughs> <laughs> Throughout 2012, Campbell's contributed $500,000 to a $46 million political campaign known as the Coalition Against the Costly Food Labeling Proposition, sponsored by farmers and food producers. This organization was set up to oppose a citizens' initiative, known as Proposition 37, demanding mandatory labeling of foods containing genetically modified ingredients. In January 2016, they decided to support mandatory labeling and announced they would label their products that contained GMO additives. <laughs> Brands Campbell's owns numerous brands, categorized by different lines. Many of Campbell's brands are listed below. <inaudible> soups Campbell's Condensed Soups – Campbell's Flagship Line Campbell's Chunky Soups – Ready to serve soups with larger pieces of vegetables and meat. The line was revamped in 2009, using lean meat, to appeal to new male demographics for healthier foods, and to appeal to women. Campbell's Fun Favorites Soups Campbell's Go! line of ready-to-serve soups packaged in plastic retort pouches Campbell's Healthy Request Soups – soups with lower quantities of ingredients such as sodium Campbell's Kitchen Classic Soups Campbell's 100% Natural Soups, introduced in 1983 as Campbell's Home Cookin', it was renamed Campbell's Select in 1999, and again renamed in 2008 to Campbell's Select Harvest, ostensibly for its more natural ingredients. Most recently, in late 2012, the line took its current name of 100% Natural. Campbell's Oriental Soups, Chinese-style Oriental Soups, Campbell's Soup at Hand Soups, drinkable soups in special microwave safe cans, Campbell's Vellish, name used in Australia for range of vegetarian soups Campbell's Country Ladle, name used in Australia for range of home-style soups Tomato Soup Lovers Simply Home Soups Wolfgang Puck Soups – Campbell bought the soup business from Wolfgang Puck Worldwide Inc. in an agreement that allows Campbell to use the Wolfgang Puck brand on soup, stock and broth products in North America as well as the option to expand the brand into other areas. Campbell's Well Yes. Soups, brand launched in late 2016 that focuses on simple, understandable, and natural ingredients that do not include artificial colors, flavoring, or modified ingredients. Sauces Garden Fresh Gourmet, a line of sauces, acquired by Campbell in 2015. Pace Foods, a line of salsas, acquired by Campbell in 1995. Prego, a line of pasta sauces. <inaudible> <inaudible> Baked goods Arnott's Biscuits, Australia's largest supplier of biscuits and second largest supplier of snack foods. Pepperidge Farm, a brand of homemade style cookies and snack crackers, such as goldfish crackers. They also market gourmet cookies, breads, cakes, croutons, and stuffing. Topic: <inaudible> Beverages. Campbell's Tomato Juice, V8 Vegetable Juice, acquired in 1948. V8 Splash Juice Drinks, V8 V Fusion. Topic. Swanson 
Swanson broth Swanson chicken a la king Topic: Other brands. Bla Band, Sweden and Finland. Bolthouse Farms. Campbell's Chunky Meatballs. Campbell Food Service, School Cafeteria Service. Campbell's Supper Bakes Meal Kits. Davos Lemons, Belgium. Franco American. Arasco, Heist Tass, Germany, owned by Campbell's since 1996, manufactured in Lübeck. Kimball, Malaysia. Liebig, France, purchased from Group Danone in 1997. Liebig is the leading aseptic soup brand in France. Plum Baby. Ragoletto. Royco, France, Belgium and Indonesia. Stockpot Soups, Everett, Washington, US. Topic: <laughs> Former brands. Annabelle's and H.T. McDougal's, restaurant chains, sold 1988. Godiva Chocolatier, Chocolatier, sold 2007. Campbell's Select Gold Label, introduced in 2005, it was discontinued after one year. Homepride, UK, sold 2006. OXO, UK, sold 2006. Topic. Plants. Topic USA Camden, New Jersey, world headquarters, non-manufacturing. Maxton, North Carolina, opened 1978. Napoleon, Ohio. Paris, Texas. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Everett, Washington. Topic International. Toronto, Ontario, Canada, opened 1930, closure announced in 2018. Shepparton, Victoria, Australia. Lübeck, Germany. Selinger, Malaysia. Kings Lynn, Great Britain, opened 1959, closed 2007. Site demolished 2012. Bekasi, Indonesia, as PT. Arnott's Indonesia. Topic Recalls Topic Twenty Ten In June twenty second, twenty ten, Campbell's Spaghettios and Meatballs product was recalled after a Texas firm found possible traces of underprocessed meat in the product. See also Cream of mushroom soup Green bean casserole List of food companies Notes <laughs>